Hello, Care Blazer. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to share some dementia-friendly gift ideas. It's the holiday season, and sometimes that means gifts are exchanged. And I put together a list of some practical and affordable ideas that you could either give your loved one or you can tell family members and friends if they are asking for ideas of what to give your loved one who has dementia. I think you'll find them helpful. I'd also like to know what other gift ideas you plan to give your loved one who has dementia or just gift ideas you think would be nice for somebody who has dementia. You can leave them in a comment below this video. And I will also link below this video last year's Dementia Friendly Gift Guide. A lot of these gifts are super affordable, $20 and under for some of them, some of them $50 and under, and some of them are just things that you can put together yourself using things you already have around your home and are completely free. So I hope you enjoy. Also, I should mention that everything I talk about in this video is just my ideas, my opinions. None of this is sponsored. I don't get any money for recommending any products or anything like that. Um, if you're new to Care Blazers TV, welcome. Every week I put together a video about dementia topics or questions that you guys might have about dementia, and I post it every Sunday. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and head on over to careblazers.com where you can download your free Care Blazers survival guide. All right, now let's get started. Gift idea number one is a personalized ID bracelet or necklace. Now this is a very practical gift. It's one that has to do, deal with safety because your loved one should always have some form of identification on them, but also also have an emergency contact on them. Now, a lot of times ID necklaces and bracelets made for older adults with dementia are kind of ugly, they're not fun, and a lot of times somebody with dementia might not want them. However, there are some other ways and other places you can get pretty cool ID bracelets and necklaces. For instance, I have a road ID bracelet that I wear when I run or I go hiking just in case something were to happen to me and somebody were to find me and let's say I wasn't able to communicate for whatever, whatever reason, it would have my husband's name and number on it, it would have my name on it, and it's just a safety fallback. So there are cool ID bracelets and necklaces where you can get them in different colors. Mine's purple. You can even have different decorations or sayings on them. It might be a cool piece of jewelry for your loved one with dementia and bonus points if you get one for yourself as well. Um, so that's gift idea number one. I got mine through a website called roadid.com, but you can just Google personalized bracelets or necklaces and see what comes up. That's another tip I want to give you. A lot of times if you specifically look for items for older adults or items for older adults with dementia, a lot of times you get things that aren't really fun, don't look that great, and they are also expensive. I think it's sad how it seems like maybe this population is a bit more um, targeted Whereas if you were to look for something similar in other segments of the population, for instance, athletes who might want a road, uh, like an ID bracelet, you, you would find things much cheaper. So um, a general tip whenever you're shopping for something with older adults is think of other segments of the population that might use something similar and start to look in those areas as well. Because if you're only targeting for older adults with dementia, chances are you're, you're paying a higher price tag. Another gift idea are dementia-friendly plates, bowls, cups, and utensils. <clears throat> now this is also another pretty practical gift um, that can seem pretty boring at first. However, if you were to fill a bowl or a cup with some of their favorite snacks or treats or some sort of other small token or gift, all of a sudden it can be a pretty fun gift. Now for dementia, it's pretty common that it's difficult for them to kind of handle some of the plates or utensils, it can sometimes be messy, it's easy for them to spill things. So getting them a cool cup with a lid and a straw or a bowl, they have bowls that are non-spillable no matter how you try to knock them over, They're, they kind of stay upright. Um, they even have utensils that are heavier, they're weighted, so sometimes as people eat with dementia, their hands start to shake and then food goes everywhere, but the heavier it is, the less likely it's to shake so the food stays on the fork or the spoon. 
Now, um, there are websites that specifically make um, these kinds of things for older adults. They tend to be more expensive. If you were to look at maybe um, child-proof or baby-proof utensils, um, I hate to use that term, but they tend to have more wide selection at a much cheaper price point. So there's a website called caregiverproducts.com. That's for older adults, and that's where you can find some of these materials. They're gonna be at a heftier price tag, or just search on Amazon or Google for a non-spillable bowl, or weighted utensils, or a cup with lid, or um, you know, utensils, cups, plates for young children, and see what comes up. You wanna be respectful in what you give them, but again, I'm just encouraging you to search for things where you still get the same product. You might even get a product that looks more fun, but it's also much cheaper than if you were to buy through a website where it's targeted towards older adults only. The third gift idea is something that you can put together for free with things already around your home. And that is a busy box or a fidget box for somebody who has dementia. Now you can get uh, busy boards or busy boxes or fidget boxes. You could pay for them online and I have seen hefty price tags. For instance, a um, fidget board like this can run up to $150, but you could put something together like this using leftover materials in your garage and asking for help from a friend or a neighbor if you don't have the skills yourself to put together a busy board. However, a busy box or a fidgy box is basically just a box filled with different trinkets and things that your loved one might enjoy rummaging through or playing with or going through. The key is you don't want anything in there that's super small that they might be able to swallow or something that they could harm themselves with. So for instance, you want to think about what your loved one enjoys what they seem to um, have enjoyed in the past, maybe even things from their past profession, and you wanna just compile them into a box. The more variety, the more different textures, the more different colors, the better. So for example, you could put together um, some picture books, a deck of cards, some different types of fabric, some squishy balls, <clears throat> all kinds of things. Just Think about some safe things that look like your loved one might like around the home, stick them in a nice little box, and it's something that you can remind your loved one to go through or to look through when they're feeling bored or upset or might need a little distraction. Another pretty simple, easy, and practical gift for your loved one with dementia would be to put together a small spa package. Now this can be a manly version of a spa package or maybe a more feminine version of a spa package. But the whole idea here is you'd put together like some comfortable socks, maybe even a nice pajama set or a robe, uh, some nice smelling body wash. I loved the I love these deodorant wipes that smell so great. You can use them wherever you want to on your body, on your neck, on your arms, on your legs, under your armpits, and they're infused with essential oils. So even if your loved one is not wanting to take a bath or a shower one day, at least it can kind of clean them a little bit and get them smelling really nice and fresh. Um, also, a spa package might help entice your loved one to be more willing to take a bath or shower if you can say, let's use that new spa package. Um, so just be creative with some of the things that you put in there, maybe a nice little bubble bath, a nice new wash rag, um, comfortable towel, slippers, um, non-slips, slippers preferably that have a, something around the heel as well. Um, so yeah, just a small little nice spa package where you might be able to entice them to be able to take a bath or shower more frequently at home. Another gift idea is a plant. There's been research that shows that plants can sometimes help a loved one with dementia. It can help their mood. It can help them feel more involved and get them more engaged. That's why a lot of nursing homes and assisted living facilities now have community gardens where people can go and tend to the plants. So if you were to give your loved one a plant, you just wanna make sure it's a non-toxic plant and preferably one that's a bit more hardy, that's harder to kill. And you can incorporate this into your 
daily routine or a weekly routine, like it's time to water the plant now or let's go see how the plant is doing. It's a nice, cheap, easy way to spruce up a home or a room and also give your loved one with dementia a sense of pride and responsibility for being able to care for a plant. And again, there's research to show that that kind of responsibility does have a positive impact on somebody who has dementia. Another idea is to make a music list for your loved one with dementia. If you watched one of my videos last month, it was all about the power of music, the importance of music, and how great of an impact it can have on somebody's mood. So you wanna think about songs that were popular when your loved one was growing up, movies with popular soundtracks um, that were popular when your loved one was growing up. Put together a playlist for your loved one. You don't necessarily need to go out and buy all those albums um, and spend a fortune putting together a playlist of all these songs you purchased, but you could you know, get a free app like Pandora or Spotify or even go on YouTube and start to put together music lists for your loved one that you can play together from time to time. Your loved one might really enjoy that. And finally, another idea you might wanna consider is to give your loved one a memory book or a photo book. So we know with dementia that memories from the past the further they are in their past, the more likely it is for your loved one to remember versus recent memories. So incorporating some pictures from long ago, you can even consider having pictures of the same person from many years ago to how they look now side by side. Um, and just give them a picture book of things to go through. A memory book is similar, but it would also include pictures of things from their past that they enjoyed, maybe the type of car that they had, a picture of their old high school, picture of their old home, all kinds of things that would bring up these memories that they're more likely to have in their mind because they're from so long ago. You could just leave it on a coffee table, leave it by the bedside. It's similar to the idea of a rummage box or a fidget box where when they're feeling bored or stressed or they need a nice distraction, it's something that can easily open up and you guys can go through and look through together. What do you think about this list, Care Blazer? Are there any other practical and affordable gift ideas you have that somebody with dementia might enjoy? Go ahead and leave them in a comment below this video. I'd love to read about them. I'll be back next week with a new video. In the meantime, you can connect with me over on my Facebook page at Dementia Care Blazers and be sure that you request access to the closed Care Blazer community. All right, Care Blazer, wishing you all the best. Take care. Bye.